Hello, welcome to How to Paint Citadel Miniatures. My name is Adam Troke. I'm the author and narrator of the How to Paint Citadel Miniatures book and DVD respectively. And with me is Duncan Rhodes. Hello, I'm the painter you're going to be watching for the next hour and a half. It's my hands that are going to be demonstrating to you techniques from the book, so I hope they're nice and clear for you. The purpose of the book and DVD together is to enable you to paint fantastic looking armies of Citadel miniatures that you can use on the tabletop and be really proud of. The way that the book and the DVD combine is that you can see the examples on your screen that we present in the book. You can pause and rewind as much as you need to. You can really focus on the technique until you've perfected it and then duplicate it on your own models. I could talk more about that, but there's really not a lot of point when you can see the examples. So with no further ado, good luck with your painting and go and click somewhere that there's a place to click. It's that way. Go and click it go and Next good luck. Next chapter. Assembling plastic models. Open the box and remove everything. You don't have to do this as carefully as Duncan is. He's just trying to set a good example. These Space Marines have two plastic frames, a small bag of bases and a transfer sheet. With the miniatures, bases and transfer sheets removed from the box, you can begin clipping the components away from the frame, ready to be cleaned up and assembled. This is just as easy as it sounds. Use your plastic cutters to snip the components away from the frame. Take care not to clip too close to the piece itself though. This can have the effect of causing unsightly scars on the model. It's actually far better to clip a reasonable distance from the model and then clean it up with a knife later. When you have all the pieces you want removed, you can begin cleaning them up. To clean away the scars where a model is removed from the frame, you will need a hobby knife. Always take the utmost care when using a hobby knife. Cut away from your body and fingers and do not push too hard with the blade. Accidents happen that way. What you are looking to do is to shave off the ray stumps by gently pushing against them with your hobby knife's blade. Cut against your cutting mat as shown here. That way if something goes awry, your mat takes the pain, not you. Almost every model will also have mold lines on it. These are caused during the molding process and are an inevitable fact. Thankfully, they're easily removed with a Citadel mold line remover, a tool that is quite safe to use. Drag the edge of the mold line remover against the mold lines and ridges to remove them. And then rub away any detritus with your finger to check it have a smooth finish. The longer you spend doing this and the more thorough you are, the better the overall finish on your Citadel miniature will be. It takes a while and it's a bit boring, but the results are worth it. With the mold lines scraped down, take your Citadel emery boards and tidy up your work thus far. These come in two grains, coarse and fine. Coarse is great for filing down larger blemishes, whilst fine polishes your work to a perfectly smooth finish. Time to begin gluing your model together. Plastic miniatures are best assembled with Citadel Plastic Glue, a polystyrene cement that melts the surface of the plastic to create a very strong bond, much like a weld. Carefully apply the glue to the areas you want to fix and then press it firmly against the other component. Don't apply too much glue at once. Start with a little. It's surprising how little plastic glue you actually need to get a good fix. Duncan is starting out by attaching the legs to the bases. So he adds a little glue to the bottom of each foot and then presses it against the base, like so. Give the glue a little while to set. A few minutes should suffice. Bear in mind that once plastic glue is set, the model is unlikely to ever come apart without damaging it. While this is happening, feel free to assemble something else instead. And bear in mind, though the pieces will be reasonably well fixed within a few minutes, they won't be fully set for up to an hour, so don't do anything rough with them. His first step is to attach the arms. This is done in exactly the same way as the other components. And because he's using plastic glue on a plastic miniature, he knows that he has a few minutes of wiggle time before the model sets. The join actually remains somewhat malleable. So you can always fiddle with the join a little until you have the exact positioning that you want. Hold the pieces in place to see how you want them to look when they're done.
Right here, you can see a good example of how to use the malleable nature of the components that are setting to get the pose that you want. When it comes to gluing multiple parts together, it's always worth taking the time to make a test fitting first. Once both arms are attached and roughly in place, he then tests out the fit with the bolt gun to make sure that he's happy with it. As a painter, you may wish to paint the majority of the model without attaching all of the pieces. A common practice, for example, is to paint Space Marines without attaching their bolters so that you have full access to their chest plates. If you want to work like this, don't glue the weapon in place. Just let the pieces set as normal. If you want to work a little faster, however, feel free to glue the whole model together as Duncan is doing here. Assembling Citadel Finecast Miniature With your Citadel Finecast model removed from its clamp pack, the first thing to do is clean away any detritus. With the model still on the frame, use a Citadel flash brush to buff the model. This will dislodge any tiny pieces of flash and so on. You don't need to be too gentle with your model at this point. Give the model a thorough brushing all over. This should have no ill effects on your miniature whatsoever. With all the flash cleaned away, use your plastic cutters to remove the miniature from the frames in exactly the same way as your plastic miniatures. Again, don't clip too close to the model. It's better to clean up any scars with a hobby knife later on than to damage your model with your plastic cutters. With the model removed and the flash cut away, you can use your hobby knife and Citadel mold line remover to deal with any other minor imperfections. Again, take great care to obey all the safety instructions pertaining to knife use. Always cut away from the body. The resin that Citadel Finecast models are made from is comparatively soft and very, very easy to cut through. This means you don't need to press hard. It also means that you need to be careful that you don't cut away too much as you work. Make sure you pause regularly to search your model and make sure you've removed all the minor errors from it. It's best to spot a bit that you've missed at this stage than when your model is assembled or even painted. With the flash and other blemishes all cleaned away, use your mold line removing tool to scrape away any mold lines. You don't need to press hard with this, just draw the tool along the areas where you have visible mold lines. Finally, use your Citadel emery boards to buff the model to a perfect finish. Don't do too much buffing however, the last thing you want to do is to file all the way through your model. Air bubbles are an infuriating but unavoidable side effect of the casting process. Thankfully, they're also easily repaired with liquid green stuff. Liquid green stuff is a hobby product designed to fill holes and joins with a minimum of fuss. It is easily applied and, once set, can be trimmed down and filed in much the same way as fine cast resin itself. To fill air bubbles on your fine cast models, load your brush with a little of the liquid green stuff straight from the pot. This is then simply painted directly onto the affected areas. Now, don't overload your model with it. Just paint on enough to fill the holes. You can then tidy it up by washing your brush off and, with the bristles still wet, smoothing off the green stuff. This helps to get a seamless finish, which is what you're looking for. Do this until you're happy with the result, wetting your brush again if it becomes too dry. Remember, you can file down liquid green stuff with a Citadel emery board if you need to, although it takes a while to dry, so you'll probably want to leave it for an hour or more. To glue a Citadel Finecast model, you will need to use super glue. Superglue comes with all manner of safety instructions that you must be aware of. Please familiarise yourself with them to ensure you don't come to any harm. The nature of Citadel Finecast is such that Superglue will enable you to get a strong bond very easily. 
because of this, it's worth doing a test fit on each component before applying glue to it. Then, apply a little super glue to one of the surfaces you plan on fixing together and hold them in place. It will only take a moment, perhaps as much as five seconds, to form a strong, permanent bond.